stated earlier, the church uses holy oils in various forms. And the one that we are about to use now is the same prison. It marks important parts of our lives and makes things holy. And so it is only used three times within our lives. It's the moment of baptism, the moment of confirmation, and if a man is ordained a priest at that moment. All three moments are never to be repeated. They show that an indelible mark has been left on these, this person's soul. And so as we anoint these children with the holy oil of prison on their forehead, we pray that they will never forget this. God the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ has freed you from sin and given you a new birth by water and the Holy Spirit and welcomed you into his holy people. He now anoints you with the chrism of salvation as Christ was anointed priest, prophet, and king. So may you live always as members of his body, sharing everlasting.
you were all wondering why one of the requirements was you were at least five foot six. <laughs> 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 Receive the light of Christ. Parents and godparents, this light is entrusted to you to be kept burning brightly. These children of yours have been enlightened by Christ. They are to walk always as children of the light. May they keep the flame of faith alive in their hearts. When the Lord comes, may they go out to meet him with all the saints in the heavenly kingdom. Amen. And I encourage you, because, as I said, this is a moment of great celebration, great joy, these candles are yours to keep, and to, to light them again, you also have boxes here, so you can put them to light them again on their baptismal days, or on their birthdays, on moments when they receive First Holy Communion, or their first confession, or confirmation, to show them that their journey with Christ began at this moment. That this is only that Christ has always been with them in their journey, and we always are still with them. The Lord Jesus made the deaf hear and the dumb speak. May He soon touch your ears to receive His words, and your mouth to proclaim His faith to the praise and glory of God. The Lord Jesus made the deaf hear and his own speak. May he should soon touch your ears to receive his words and your mouth to proclaim his faith to the praise and glory of God. The Lord Jesus made the deaf hear and the dumb speak. May he soon touch your ears to receive his word and your mouth to proclaim his faith to the praise and glory of God. You have put on Christ. In him you have been baptized. Alleluia, alleluia. Dearly beloved, these children have been reborn in baptism. They are now called children of God, for so indeed they are. In confirmation, they will receive the fullness of God's Spirit. In holy communion, they will share the banquet of Christ's sacrifice, calling God their Father in the midst of the church. In their name, in the spirit of our common sunshine, let us pray together in the words our Lord has given us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into All the mothers can hold their children.
May He bless the mothers of these children. They now thank God for the gift of their children. May they be one with them in thanking Him for ever and ever. In Christ Jesus, our Lord. Now, fathers. Please take the boxes, please. 